Hello again and welcome back to the Otago Chemistry Channel. Today we're going to look at a couple of experiments that explore the properties of liquids. For these experiments we are going to be using a measuring cylinder. Now you may remember from our last video that we talked about the particles of a liquid. Notice how there are gaps between them. They're not as tightly packed together as a solid. Now that's going to be important during the results of our first experiment, which is the 20 plus 20 experiment. Now, the invention of modern mathematics has helped us to calculate what 20 and 20 might be equal to. Do you think you can solve this conundrum? Ask someone in your class and they'll probably tell you the answer is 40. Good work, lads. This experiment is going to put that answer to the test. For this experiment, you will need a bottle of water with some added food coloring, a bottle of oil, and a bottle of methanol with a different color of food coloring. You'll also need a 50 mil measuring cylinder and a 25 mil measuring cylinder. To begin the experiment, Accurately measure out 20 milliliters of water using a 25 milliliter measuring cylinder. Now it's a good idea to squirt the water down the side of the measuring cylinder. Squirting the water down the middle just ends up making bubbles. And that makes it hard to measure out the volume accurately. When you get near the line of 20 milliliters, get down so that your eye level is on the level of the 20 milliliter line. Now add the last few drops very slowly. Notice how the surface of the water is curved. The curve is known as a meniscus. In order to accurately measure out 20 milliliters, you must ensure the bottom edge of the meniscus is touching the 20 milliliter line. Now make sure you measure carefully so you don't go over the top of 20. Oh dear, Matthew. Oh dear. If we have a look back at Trudy though, we have a perfect 20 milliliters. Now measure out 20 milliliters of oil into the 50 milliliter measuring cylinder. Now remember to squirt the oil down the side of the cylinder to avoid getting bubbles. Finally, remember that the bottom of the meniscus needs to be on the line of 20 milliliters. Good work, Trudy. Once that's done, you'll need to add the water to the oil. Make sure you do it carefully so that none of it spills. Notice how the water and the oil do not mix. Instead, they form two layers with the water at the bottom. This indicates that the water is denser than the oil and that the two liquids are immiscible, meaning they don't mix together. Now, what is the final volume of the two layers? 40 milliliters, just as we predicted. Now, it's important in science to do repeat experiments. This ensures that the answer you get isn't due to a mistake or an error. Trudy will now repeat this experiment twice more. Now let's have a look at those results, Trudy. The first mixture came to 40 milliliters, as did the second, and the third, another 40 milliliters. Now with three results, you can calculate an average, adding them all together and then dividing by three. So as you can see, there can be no doubt that the actual answer to 20 plus 20 is 40. So now the experiment is repeated with methanol. 
instead of oil. Once again, 20 milliliters of water has been measured out and then it is added to 20 milliliters of methanol. This time, the two liquids mix to give one layer. This shows that those liquids are miscible. Now what's the final volume, Trudy? 39? 39? Obviously our good student has finally made a mistake. Well, it's a good thing in science we repeat our experiments. Trudy will now repeat this twice more. Let's take a look at those results on the whiteboard. So as you can see, the first result is 38.5. Now what could be going on here? As you can see, our average is definitely below 40. Now, has Trudy just shown that she doesn't know how to measure properly, or is there something going on here instead? Hand me that oil and water mixture there, Trudy. Now, pay attention. As you can see, the water and the oil have not mixed. Now remember that particle diagram from the start of the class? That showed that there are gaps between the water molecules, but the oil can't mix with the water, so it doesn't get filled up. So 20 mil milliliters of water with 20 milliliters of oil on top equals 40. There we are. Now pass me the water and methanol mixture, will you, Trudy? Here the liquids have mixed. So as a result, some of the methanol particles are able to fill up the gaps between the water particles. As a result, when they mix, they don't equal 40. They equal slightly less than that. So it looks like Trudy is off the hook. Yeah! Now Trudy, isn't it interesting how the oil is always floating on top of the water? There's an experiment that we will now do which will show why this is the case. For this experiment, we're going to measure out 10 milliliters of each liquid and weigh how much that is on a balance. Now Trudy has already measured out 10 milliliters of oil and methanol. Now let's see her do the experiment with water. Firstly, place the empty cylinder